it's doing its thing. This weird futuristic outer space globby like material is floating up, and then it comes back down, then it floats back up, and it keeps doing the same thing over and over and over again. And I can watch it all day long. Yo, what's up squad? It's Elite Shot here, aka Sean. And today guys, I'm bringing you another Elite Vlog. You guys know, in this series, I bust out my camera and I record whatever I want. If you guys saw my Elite Shot Snapback giveaway video, I showed off this small box within that video and I said I would be recording another Elite, another Elite Vlog very soon. But in this video, I'm going to unbox it and test this thing out. Check it. The Avenger Controller Reflex. It's this one controller attachment that goes over your pre-existing controller and supposedly helps you game better. It says here, dramatically increase your Xbox gaming skills without cheating with the Avenger controller. The slightest touch engages triggers and buttons because all preload is removed. Avenger Reflex remaps buttons so they are closer to your fingers, provides better situational awareness and greater accuracy. And G4 said here, the Avenger really works. It will increase your gaming skills tremendously. The Avenger controller reflex. And in the back side here, we have additional things. It says here, your thumbs never leave the analog sticks, which improves your situational awareness and overall gaming experience. The Avenger reflex extends your reach on the RB button. Military precision hair trigger kit made in the USA with silicone rubber. A slight lift of the finger to the bendable arms engages three buttons for a fast reaction time, weapon change, crouch, reload, and scope effortlessly. So I'm definitely pumped to give this thing a go. We have some more sponsors on the side that had some nice things to say. You guys can pause if you want to read them. I'm a huge fan of using gaming products that improve my game. I don't recommend things or I don't use things that don't help me. As you guys know, I use control freaks and I know a ton of you guys do too because it's one of the easiest things you can equip on your controller to improve your game. As you guys saw numerous times already, little analog extenders that equip to your current um, Xbox or PlayStation controller. Right now, I'm rocking the FPS Freak Elite on my right stick and the uh, Control Freak Alpha on the left. The left one's shorter, concave, more grippy, very nice for control. The right one's taller, concave, and it provides more accuracy because of that added linear motion. This is my favorite setup and this is what I play with on most of my classes besides snipers and shotguns. Whenever I use shotguns, I put on two alphas. Whenever I snipe, I equip the uh, FPS Freak Sniper because it's convex. But that's my controller and this little Avenger box thingy here is going to equip over my controller. As you guys heard me say, this thing supposedly helps you game more efficiently. Similar to a scuff controller, you don't have to move your thumbs to hit the B button or whatever other buttons to do those different actions. With the scuff, they have these back paddles, which allow you to reload or jump, whatever you want to program it to, without moving your thumb. So this thing does the same effects, but at a much lower price. A scuff controller can cost you over $200, and that is absurd in my opinion. Paying more for a controller than the console doesn't seem right. It's not more than the console, but it's getting pretty dang close. These things are great, and a ton of pro players use them, but they're not cost effective. I definitely am looking forward to trying this thing out and hoping that the uh, Avenger controller reflex does the same job, if not better, than a scuff controller can. The reason I don't use my scuff controller now is because I made the mistake of going with the scuff sticks. In my opinion, the scuff sticks aren't as good as the control freak sticks because they're not the same. As you see here, they're pretty small. Um, the left one, I tried getting a shorter concave one. And the right, I believe I asked for a convex, but they still sent me a concave, which is no big deal. But the sticks definitely don't provide the same amount of grip or control as control freaks do. The controller is definitely awesome. I like the grip on here. The back pedals are nice. But not having my control freak sticks, I just can't play. I'm literally so adjusted to my control freaks, I can't play without them. Whenever I do, I'm not as accurate whatsoever. So let's go ahead to the point of this video and get unboxing this reflex. You folks ready for this? I have the most unprofessional, professional, or professionally unprofessional unboxing vlogs of all time. Let's go. Go to my classic spot with Stitch. 
What's up, buddy? Why are you still rocking the Santa hat? It's New Year's. It ain't, it ain't Christmas no more. He likes it, and I guess so does my TV. I probably should take down my Christmas decorations, but I kind of like it, man. I don't know how much longer it's going to stay here, but I like it for the time being. I think I might keep the lights. Or imagine if we got, like, red, white, and blue Christmas lights. That would be so sick. Honestly, I'm going to look after this vlog on the computer for red, white, and blue lights to put in my man cave. How sweet would that be? All right, so let's sit down next to Stitch and uh, see what we got going here. I, I wish he could help me out, but he does nothing. He's lazy. He sits there all day, doesn't do a dang thing. All right, guys, let's unbox this. So it comes in this little sleeve here. I took off the plastic wrapping around it, so it would be less of a struggle for me to open this because I do one-handed vlogs, and it always makes it a nice challenge. Let's see what we got inside, man. Let's see what we have. I'm Actually, guys, I'm really excited to use this thing. As I said, I always like using things that improve my game, and this is one of those things that will definitely improve your game if I can get used to it and adjust to it. Whenever you try something new, like Control Freaks or any other controller attachments of some sort, like the Reflex, there's going to be a learning curve. Whenever you learn something new, expect it to take time. Don't think you're just gonna get in the snap and learn how to do that. Just like with everything else in life, if you're learning how to snowboard, you're not gonna learn the first day, you're not gonna learn the second day, you're not gonna learn the first week. It's gonna take a lot of time to actually get the skills to snowboard properly and down the hill without falling. Everything takes practice and time, but if you could put that time in, you'll get the reward and you'll learn how to do whatever you wanna do. And in this case, I hope I can learn how to use this properly. I should probably go under the light. I'm gonna sit on the ground like a five-year-old because I like to, and because there's a spotlight over here. So, check it. Inside the box, we have the reflex in this little plastic wrapping here. Before we take this out, let's see what else we have inside. We have this Wikipedia card of some sort. I'm not even sure what this is exactly. I believe this attachment actually equips to the controller itself. Look at this here. It's not every day that such an awkward looking gadget blows us out of the water. Okay. Please go to YouTube and type in, please do not use the Avenger without seeing video. Huh. Maybe I should see this video first. You guys want to see it with me? When something asks me to watch a video before using the Avenger, I probably should go watch the video. But first, I want to open this thing. Hmm. Should I show you guys the video too? Now that it's telling me to watch this video, I feel like we have to watch this video. I'm just opening this little package it gave us here with this little rubber attachment of some sort that I'm assuming goes on the reflex. Also inside, we have this, along with something else that's in here. What do we have here? Alright, so here we have something. Not very descriptive, I know, because I'm not actually sure what it is. So we can poke the holes out, we'll find out what this is for shortly. Okay, I see what we got here. The Avenger Controller Reflex. Hold bottom of adapter to controller. Hook on top, then press on cover. Side of hand works B, arc thumb to work A. Finger pulls hoop, this frees finger to work X, Y, or bumpers. Press fingers up to work bumpers. Okay, and lastly, have fun. So here are the steps to actually use this thing properly. I'm assuming this is what is shown in the video that we probably should go watch. The directions are pretty self-explanatory. It's definitely gonna take some time to adjust to these different movements now because I'm going to be using different parts of my hand to function this crazy tentacle looking thing that we should take out of the bag. Focus camera, you can do it, don't worry. Here we go, now we're focused. Look at this guys. You would never think something like this would help you game better. It looks like some space age tentacles. I'm so pumped to try this. It just looks so funky, so crazy. I'm gonna be using my hands in ways I never used to control my controller before. That's right. All right, so I guess we should try putting it on, right? Well, since they asked nicely and said please, let's go ahead and watch the video. Manners go a long way. I have to go watch the video because it asked me to. Let's go do that before we equip this thing because I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to break it. I actually want to use this thing properly and hope it works out. I have to record my computer screen, so it might not, might not be the best quality. But we'll see what we have to do here. This is my gaming setup, by the way. I'm a 
I'm in like battle station mode because I was about to record and I plan to test this thing out after I get done learning how to like put it on and use it. Alright guys, so I typed in the URL they gave us and here's the video that they want us to watch. Let's see what they got. The way that this works is we take the bottom of the adapter and you put it here and you hold it to the Xbox One controller. The next thing that you do is you hook on the cover and you just press it down like you put on an iPhone cover or something. Now these should just snap in and there's two little holes here and you click it in there, click it in there and then you're ready to go. What we have here is a trigger. It's really nice. It's just a, the slightest pull makes this go. It's, 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 it's very, very sensitive. The other thing that you have is so while this is being pulled, you can either work this button, which would be the reload. The other thing you have here is if you just push your finger forward, you can either use your middle finger or your index finger on either side. You work the bumpers. The way that you work uh, the A is just arch your finger a little bit. Click, click. And you have your fingers that can be always on the analogs. And then just rock your hand a little bit and you work B. Now we give you one strap, but there's another strap in the box that you could use. I just feel it's a little overwhelming sometimes, so just using this to lock down the zoom or whatever you're doing is, is more than enough. You can always add another one if you feel like you'd rather have a strap that you pull here. Alright folks, so there you have it. He probably explained that much better than I could because I have no idea how to work this thing. But hopefully this video will help us out a little bit on how to equip it and properly use it. It's going to take some time. That's probably the third time I said that, but it's going to. Never expect anything to work out the first time you try it. Expect to put time into it to actually learn how to do things properly. So let's go ahead and try to equip this controllers so first we have to put on the adapter which is the back part of it and then we go ahead and put on the cover over the controller I'm watching it now just to see how we did it again so let's do this all right so I took off the back adapter part which he explained it goes on first on the controller which we should try to put on here let's put it down like so so as you can see it just fits around the controller that goes back like that so this little lever makes zooming easier and as he said you can equip the other one, which is included here, to the other trigger, but that might be a bit overwhelming when we're starting off. So for now, I'm gonna keep on just this one. Let's equip the rest of this. The only concern of using this is that it's going to be covering this beautiful Elite Shot shield. That's a shame, I know. But in the future, we might have a chance to get like a custom Avenger attachment thing with an Elite Shot branded version. Like, it'll be like the shield, but it'll, it'll be on the Avenger itself. Maybe it's a possibility, I'm not too sure yet. We first have to see if we can actually adjust to this thing and learn how to use it properly. So let's put this on. Here's the front cover. I'm just gonna try to put this on, I, I guess. We'll see how it goes. I don't wanna like break anything. I'm gonna set up my dang tripod because doing this with one hand is nearly impossible. One second. All right guys, so hopefully it's a little bit better using my tripod to show how this equips here. So according to the video, you see that little notch? I'm trying to get it at the bottom there, there's two little notches. It goes on the back like so that I'm trying to do, but for some reason I'm not getting. I guess it might take a few tries. All right, so now once you have it attached to the back there, which you can see right there, all you do is just push down. According to the video, you just snap it on like so. Okay, that's snapped on. And then there's two little notches on each side that snaps these into place. One there, then there's one right here, like so. Okay, so look at my controller now. Look how crazy this thing looks, man. This looks so space age. I really hope I can adjust to it well. I'm down for the challenge. Let's equip our control freaks back on because without these, I aim like poop. But here it is, guys. This thing looks so crazy weird. So let's see, what controls what? All right, move this a little more under the light. So this one with my left pointer finger here, pushing up goes for the X button. So you can reload without moving your thumb. Just gotta push up to hit B. For the A button, 
instead of going to push A, supposedly you just gotta use your like, the inside of your thumb. It's definitely different guys. Like right now, I'm not comfortable with this. I'm not used to using these parts of my hand to control the different parts of the controller, but I'm definitely down to see how it goes. And for the Y button, you just gotta move your right pointer finger up. All right, so your right pointer finger controls the B button along with the Y button. And your thumb controls the A button without actually moving your thumb all the way to the A button. And your left pointer finger controls the reload. While for the triggers here, you just gotta use the triggers like you normally do, or you can use this equipped lever system if you wanna use a different finger so you can control the reloading and aiming down sight. If you wanna hold it like, like this with this finger. So I'm gonna test this thing out guys. It's definitely different. It's very weird right now because I'm not used to it, but I'm super excited to give it a go and to see how it works out. All right guys, so I just got done testing out my controller reflex thingy majiggy. All right, so my first impressions, when I first equipped it, first used it, it did not feel comfortable. Whenever you do something or use something you're not used to, it definitely doesn't feel normal or comfortable because you're not used to it. But as I began playing and getting used to it, it started becoming more comfortable. Using something like this, as I said several times in this video, it takes time to adjust to. When you first put it on, your hands and your mind is saying, what the heck am I holding right now? Why am I holding this? I'm not used to this. My brain's not adjusted to this type of thing. But as you start using it, you then begin to adjust to it and become comfortable while using it. When I was using it, I kind of had to change the way I normally hold my controller. Most people hold the controller the same way, but some people tend to hold the controller, or it's a different way to hold the controller, in claw mode, where you use your middle finger instead of your pointer finger to pull the trigger. And that's pretty much what I had to do while holding this, because if I tried holding it normally, I couldn't manage all the buttons as properly as I could. So I'll show you the way I hold it with my tripod set up here, so one sec. Normally you're supposed to hold the controller like this, but I can't manage to hit the the buttons properly or aim my stick properly because my thumb can't reach far enough. So by holding it in the claw position, you have your pointer finger just out here not doing anything. Normally it would be tapping this Y button, but since this is on here, I can't push it. So I have to use my middle finger to just gently push up to switch my weapon. If I want to reload, now this is kind of the tricky part. For reloading, I have to use the inside of my middle finger, which is right by the B button there. And you just gotta kinda jerk your hand to the left and it pushes it. Now the problem I was having was that I was accidentally hitting it when I wasn't wanting to hit it. I was punching because I play on tactical controls which switches the right analog stick with the B button. So I punch with B. I was accidentally punching when I didn't want to because I was just tapping on accident. But as I was getting adjusted to it, I definitely became more familiarized and um, was more used to it without accidentally hitting it, but I'm still adjusting because I was playing in a uh, private match versus bots for like a couple hours So I can get adjusted to it and I'm definitely feeling more comfortable now having all these extra like tentacle things I'm gonna call them definitely make it easier to to reload to switch weapons to punch melee jump all of it's easier because you don't have to move your thumb to each and individual button. You just gotta adjust your hand in a different position to do those different actions. So this is the way I hold it. Not the proper way, but it's a way that allows me to be accurate and allows me to actually push the buttons without having any problems. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed the Adventure Controller Reflex Attachment unboxing and test video. In this video, I didn't actually show the gameplay or my hands because Trying to record my hands with the tripod set up was kind of difficult. I had to adjust my elbows in a way that didn't feel comfortable. So I just tested it out on my own and it definitely allows you to push the buttons easier with less force. You don't have to do as much with your fingers or hands to do the things you want to do in the game. Like reloading, switching weapons, jumping, punching, all that stuff. I'm not saying I'm gonna be using this all the time now because I'm still adjusting to it. Something like this takes time. When you're so used to using a controller one way, using something else isn't gonna happen in one day. I mean, I am definitely a lot more comfortable now 
but I'm still getting used to it and trying to figure out if this is something I want to use the rest of my gaming sessions. I'm all for using things that help improve your game. I personally don't use or recommend things that don't help. Since I'm still adjusting to this, I'm not saying you guys must get this. You need this to play better. I'm not saying that. But it's definitely something that can help you and definitely does help many others that use it now. I'm still adjusting. I'm still getting used to it. It's going to take time, but I'm up for it. It makes your controller look pretty dang cool. When I was using this, guys, I actually didn't use these additional um, trigger things here in the back because the way I was holding my controller didn't make it feel comfortable if I was using these at the same time. But when I did use these, they're super, super sensitive, and it's actually very easy to aim or to shoot your weapon because of these attachments here. It's fun to use, but I tried figuring out the way that was most comfortable for me, and the way, like I said, was in the claw position. I'm still gonna play with this, try to get used to it, and hopefully it becomes more natural for me. Now, when I take this thing off, I bet it's gonna feel weird not having the ability to push the buttons as easy as I could before, but we'll see how it goes. That's the unboxing, I hope you enjoyed this. If you wanna see more Elite Vlogs in the future, just let me know in the comments below. I said this before, but I have a P.O. box. If you want to send me stuff and or get free Elite Shot stickers, all you got to do is send me a pre-stamped and self-addressed envelope within an envelope to my P.O. box, which is Elite Shot P.O. Box 172, Lakeview, New York, 14085. We've been sending stickers out like crazy, and we definitely plan to send a lot more out. So if you want to get some stickers, send me an envelope. If you want to see anything else guys, any other type of videos, gameplay, vlogs, whatever, just let me know in the comments below because I do like taking your suggestions. Happy New Year again. Thank you guys so much for all the continued support. Downloading the Elite Shot HQ app, staying connected, everything. You guys mean the world to me. I'm always say that because I would not be here if it was not for you. I wouldn't be. I'm doing this because of you and all of the amazing support you guys continue to show me. It does mean a lot, but as I always say, you already know it. It's Elite Shot here, a.k.a. Sean. I'm your friendly cat fanboy, and I'm signed out. Peace!